I have a guest in my backyard. Are you gonna jump over the fence, turkey? Isun wants to nom the turkey, apparently. I mean, my fence is open to the left. It's not like the turkey couldn't just walk away. Turkey's definitely agitated about the fence being there, though. I wish I could do anything about that. But if I walked outside, the turkey would get very agitated. I do not want to fight a wild turkey, thank you very much. Yep. Oh, I didn't mean for you to get up. You were being all loafy and cute. I think Isin's just needs to be too much of a star for me to try to subtly record him. Good kitten internet. I am spent the afternoon laying down, afternoon and evening, laying down and relaxing, watching YouTube stuff. You know, my way of relaxing. Do you see the twitchy tail? Isun and Zun both do the twitchy tail. Isun does it more than Zun, but... I've never had a cat do that. I mean, twitchy tail for spring is a different story, but... They're just twitching because they're happy to see me. It is really hard to record when I have a cat trying to rub up against the camera. I'm trying to aim it, but... I'm not exactly using a selfie cam right now. Ooh, dizzy. So I think I might be coming down with something. I'm, I've had a couple of dizzy spells today and my appetite's not so great. I did eat a large snack at least so I've definitely had enough caloric count really cat ow your claws still hurt ah oh, yes the majesty of thine butt Bloop. <laughs> ah. um, so I've definitely had enough to eat today but just haven't really had much of an appetite and that's a problem when you take medication that requires you to have a full stomach. I... Um... So... Yeah, I'll talk more when I don't have Isun attacking the camera like this. Silly kitty. Just look at this devilishly handsome beast. Again! I had the camera... Uh, I had the, my phone up for probably about a minute and a half before I started recording. The moment I start recording, he gets up. I see how it is. You're just the opposite of Boo. You are definitely not camera shy, kitty cat. You are quite majestic, though. Hmm, so as many times as I've actually had my cats on camera, I don't know if I've ever mentioned about how I got Isun in Zone. I know I've mentioned how I got Boo, in fact, um, the very first time I met Boo, I actually had recorded as a vlog. So, that's a thing. Um, Isun and Zone come from the, what used to be referred to as the Dan County Friends of Ferals. It's now called the Madison Cat Society, I think it is. Um, yeah, so... They are both adoptions. Um, their mother was a barn cat. 
She was found in a barn in Mineral Point, which is not very far from here. And, um... Thanks, Essene. <laughs> I swear I'm not trying to make that happen. Um, they were found in a barn, and the society, what they do is that they adopt, or they put the kittens up for adoption, um, uh, and the proceeds for that not only cover, like, spay and neutering and vet shots and so on, but also, it seems to be becoming a little obsessed again, um, also pay for programs where the feral kitties are rented out as barn kitties. Um, they're rented out to control vermin populations and so on. So it's kind of a variation of TNR, or Trap, Neuter, and Release, where in this case it's more give barn cats a job. The job placement program for kitties. Um, so one of uh, the local pet supply, the independent pet supply store, which is known as Mad Cats, uh, they had an adoption fair, and I went with my partner. Uh, my partner was visiting at the time. This would have been, ooh, eight years ago? Seven and a half? Something along those lines. I had gone. Um, my partner had fallen in love with a kitty that we saw on their website called Painted Lady Butterfly. I, on the other hand, wanted a pair, and Isun and Zone were a bonded pair, and I fell in love with them the first time I saw them. They looked so cute, and they started purring the moment that they were in my hands, and yeah, they still do that. So yeah, that's the story of Isun and Zone. I just wish that they were still cute and cuddly like they were. I mean, they're still cute and cuddly, but I mean with each other. Ooh, now that's a good thumbnail. I don't know what he's actually looking at. There's not another cat out or anything. And what it is with their obsession over s loafing on top of laptops. They don't do it while the laptop's open. They only do it while the laptop's closed. Ah, weird cats. Luckily, I'm pretty sure that laptop can take them. I mean, it seems not exactly a small cat, to put it mildly. But he's fairly lightweight because he's not overweight at all. Right, cat? Right.